right. This is off an Octonaut magazine. Octonaut and the Beluga Whales. Now, I'll now read it out to you. Now. Shellington and Dashi were collecting ice samples from the North Pole using the sonic slicer. Meanwhile, back at the octopod, Pacey was playing music on his xylophone. You're certainly getting good, said Barnacles. Thank you, Bean Pacey. Just then, Shellington called in. Captain, we found Beluga Wales. Captain. Wales, Captain. They're trapped under the ice with only a small hole to breathe through, he said. I have to breathe. It's to lead the balloon. Barnacles leapt into action. Our mission is to lead the balloon back into open water. Where is the no. Our mission is to land the balloon back into open water where there's no ice, he said. Quasi, Sammy Octoballet. We need something to cut a path through the ice before before the beluga's bleeding hole freezes over, said Cat Barnacles. I think I am just the thing, said Tweak. Tweak fitted the up he was an icebreaker. Barnacles bashed, crashed and crunched into the pack ice. And finally, he had created a pack. Shiver me whiskers! You did it, cheered Quasi. Barnacles and Quasi whisked around and raced back towards the Belugas. Belugas, this pass will lead you home. Follow me before the ice freezes over. Barnacles called, called to the Belugas, but the Belugas didn't like the loud noises. They swam away from the Octonauts. Belugas, like all whales, are scared of loud, strange noises, said Charlington. There, there. Then Barnacles noticed that the Belugas Belugas made their own noises. They sound a bit like Peso, he said. Peso, we need you and your xylophone. I'll say it right away. He called, he called, he called into the octopod. Peso began to play a pretty tune. Those sounds are so nice, said a beluga. The whale started to follow Peso out of the ice. Hey, out we are. Here we are, open water, cried Peso. The belugas were free. Thank you, Octonauts, they cheered. Then all of the Octonauts sang a beluga song together.